Before we start our contestants, we'd like to bring up Mr. Tom Hall to uh, give a brief remembrance of our good friend Pitt Consulting. Tom? I come not to bury Pitt Consulting, but to praise him. In your festival program for today, there's information about Pitt on page five and on page nine, and I'm not going to repeat any of that here. You can hear me, even out on the back fringes of this meadow, and you can hear the musicians and contestants from the back rows of the pavilion and the railroad stage, and at the dance bar and over the trampling feet of the dancers because of Pitt. Pitt loved music, he loved to study, he loved to play, he loved to sing, and he loved to bring the music to other people, to new listeners. And one of the things he was most proud of was bringing high quality professional sound reinforcement to this festival. Even at the fringes, you can hear not only the thump of a string bass, but the delicate nuances of mandolin and fiddle. You can hear that as part of Pitt Kinsolving's legacy. As you wander around the festival grounds, your ability to hear is a direct result of Pitkin Solid's devotion to getting the festival to bring in the pros who sit as a, under the canopy over the air and beside the dance barn and pavilion and railroad stages. Also, as you wander around the festival, you'll see lots of graybeards picking and strumming and singing, but particularly at the railroad stage and the pavilion stage this morning, you'll see young performers, young contestants, Pitkin Solving and all the people who put this festival together and make it possible don't only want to play and enjoy the music, they want to bring it and teach it to new generations and pass it along. This afternoon you're going to hear the best of those young contestants from the stages performing here, strutting their stuff. As you wander around, mixed in with the music today, you will hear Pitt's spirit smiling knowing that his years working on this festival, both as executive and as a day laborer, helped build a structure that will continue for at least the next 56 years. That next 56 years is Pitkin Solving's legacy. His booming baritone has gone silent, but the music in this valley and ringing off these hills around us is suffused with his energy, his work, his contribution to making this happen. Thank you, Pitkin Solving. Also, this, one additional note, Pitt played and loved good instruments. Some, I think eight of his instruments are here today at a table in the corral area under the big oak back there, the great oak. How appropriate is that? A great oak over a mighty oak like Pitt. Brought out by his long, longtime friend and co-worker, Shelley Herman. These instruments need new homes, loving homes, for more years of music. They need homes where they will be played, not just stuck on the wall for uh, display. If you're interested in any of those instruments, please go and talk to Shelley Herman at the table under the corral area. Have a wonderful time at today's festival. It's going to be great. If anybody's going to be at the pavilion stage, I'll see you over there this morning.